Alright, hey VR heads, welcome to another Cymatic Bruce video. Uh, so this time I'm uh, going to do another request, the number one request I think so far, uh, to take a tour of the Vireo Perception. Uh, so uh, I got the latest build of it, uh, Beta 9. Uh, I will put a link in the comment or in the section below uh, for a link to that build. Uh, but here we go. Got to start it up. Uh, there's lots of choices for Vireo. Uh, it has Oculus Rift, Oculus Rift Crop, side by side, yada yada yada. Um, so I chose Oculus Rift. And they have a lot of tracking options, so I chose Oculus Track. So for the Vero Perception, you pretty much just have to leave the program open and then open whatever game that you want to play. Um, and there might be some differences on how you open that game. For example, I'm going to do Mirror's Edge right now. And for Mirror's Edge, you have to uh, open up the binary, the executable from the binaries folder, not the shortcut from Steam. It won't work that way. Uh, so what we have here, I'm going to go to the shortcut to the binary files uh, that I already made. Uh, here we go. Excellent. I'm going to start it up. Now one of the weird things that uh, may happen is that the perception might not pick up the game right away. Um, like when it goes through this intro sequence, um, since this might be a movie playing or something like that, maybe it doesn't pick it up. Uh, so it won't start side by side. So what you have to do is a little trick. Um, I don't know if this will work for other people, but in Mirror's Edge, what I do is, you know, start up the game just like I have here. I go to my options, I go to video, and I turn physics support on or off. It doesn't matter what you want to do. Um, you can turn it on, you can turn it off, whatever. But uh, you say save settings and you force the game to restart from uh, just, just uh, restart automatically. Um, and for some reason that restart, since it goes right to the title screen, uh, Vireo Perception picks up on it. And now I have double and it looks like I don't have up and down tracking on this menu, but I clearly have the tilt from side to side, which is neat. So I'm going to go ahead and start this up here. Let's make a new game. And there we go. Alright, I'm going to take a look to see if this intro animation actually looks decent. Alright. Good. something else. The changes came slowly hey. at first. Okay. Most didn't realize. It's pretty good. I can uh, see it extremely clear. Accepted them. Actually, it's it's they so cool how this cartoony them. stuff works really good in the Rift. Looks nice. All right. Hey, the time face. Yeah, I know you hate it. Wow. I'm to get out of commission for a while. But now you're back. You got to keep sharp. All right. Especially in this city. I'm floating yeah, I'm over buildings. Like nice. Well, I'm around, dude. So get to her. Just go with the flow. All right, so the beginning of Mirror's Edge puts you through a uh, like an intro sequence. But before I do that, I'm gonna look around. Whoa! Holy crap! All right, so this head tracking is not one to one here. Um, this is heavily accelerated. So basically, uh, if I move a little bit, and I'm moving way, way more in the game. So I'm actually. Let's see here. I'm able to get 360 turnaround now. That's like a, what, like maybe a 90 degree turn? Corresponds to a 360 degree turn in game. I've not experienced head tracking this sensitive, so it's kind of weird. Um, the look of the game, however, is excellent. I tried the uh, previous build of Vireo with Mirror's Edge and I had to do a lot of adjustments and it still didn't look this good. Uh, so that is encouraging. I think the first thing I have to do is jump. Perfect, shift to crouch. 
uh, wants to, I think, tab to go to your screen or something. No, resume, resume the game. It's like an item screen. There we go. And then next, I think I can move. Oh, there we go. Awesome. I'm able to see that clearly in 3D, that, that menu item. Let's see if I can catch the mouse. Awesome. The mouse is really small, but I can still track it. Looks like there's one mouse on either eye. And I can barely see where that A button is there. Uh, it's like here. There we go. Got it. Jeez, that was tough. All right. Forward, back, left, right. Shift. To, uh, there we go. Jump. Holy crap. Okay. I'm going to leave the mouse alone because it's already crazy. Oh, I'm about to do a jump. What the hell? Can I look down? On oh. Oh. That's sweet. That was not available in the first version of Vireo. I could not do this. Look at my feet. That's freaking awesome. All right. Time for a jump. Will I get it right? Ah! Woo! <laughs> Whoa, this is off. Now it's like... Okay, that's right. Slide under this. Okay, very good. I guess I go down here. Who said that? There she is. Get after her. Hey, there you go. Wow. This, um... <laughs> with the head tracking not one-to-one -one is really strange because these micro head movements I'm doing is, like, really, like, it's, it's shifting my whole world. If I, if I don't keep my head exactly, perfectly still, it's really rough. There we go. Holy crap, did she make it? Oh, phew. Nice. Hey, welcome back. Hey, what's up? Oh, you, you're seeing me now, baby. Okay, here we go. <laughs> uh, nice. Okay, I was kind of locked into watching her, and now I'm, I'm free again. Okay. Go down. That is really cool to be able to look down. With, I can get my jumps perfect. Oh, I don't even know how to do that. What button is that? I don't know. Oh! Ah! <laughs> that was not the thing to do. Wrong button, evidently. All right. Uh, that was that was really cool. The 3D looks very good. Uh, the head tracking is wild. Such small head movements whip the world around, which is pretty uh, disorienting. Um, but overall, the geometry looks good. The lighting looks good. There's no, like, lighting artifacts or anything like that. And uh, being able to look down at my feet when I jump is pretty cool. Um, and I don't feel too woozy overall, the, the head bobbing. Uh, yeah, she definitely head bobs when she goes forward. Um, and, of course, with all the, the jumps and climbing over the fence, that's just really just disorienting, like, what, what the hell is going on? Uh, if this game was redesigned for VR, uh, they'd probably have to think of a, a better way to do that. Um, but for kind of uh, a retrofitting, as it were, this is, this is a decent experience. I'm not sure how long I'd be able to play this. Um, I definitely want to go back and uh, see if I can play around with just the head tracking. There might be like some config files. I think there's some XML config files in Vireo that you can adjust. So that might be one of the options. I'm going to go and check on that. Uh, but overall, that is a decent experience. Uh, I've always loved Mirror's Edge. Uh, and uh, yeah, that's a, a way different way to experience the world, especially with all these clean lines and clean buildings. It looks, it looks nice. It looks very nice. All right, cool. Um, I'm going to tweak this around a bit and maybe try some other games with Vireo. This might be just a preview. I might just put this up. I'm not sure. So we'll see what happens there. Ah. Uh, oh, that's... That's cool. I'm just looking at... Just looking at my feet here. See my feet. And we can. Alright, can I use the Xbox controller? Or I... Nothing. Why is the Xbox controller not recognized here? Ah. Uh. Oh, well. All right. All right, so that's it for this segment. 
I need something good to sign off with. I need a good sign off. I see a hey VR heads at the beginning, but I need something really, really catchy to say goodbye. Um, I need to say Excelsior. Um, I see yours in innovation. No. Hmm. All right, VR heads. That about wraps it up, ever onward.